Team Technic has a three-pillar strategy. The pillars are New Energy, Automotive Technology, and MedTech. Team Technic is highly committed to sustainability. This is also evident from the fact that we're engaged in solar cell production. Our roofs are covered in solar panels. We store the energy in our own batteries and power our e-vehicle fleet. So electromobility was really just the next logical step. The world's largest e-drive test fields are supplied by Team Technic. The goal of the project wasn't just to purchase or assemble individual components. It was also to use components to jointly design a functioning overall system in a high-performance class and get it up and running. In terms of control technology, we operate at a very, very high level. If only because of the dynamics we need at this point, meaning the fast control, accuracy, etc. If a test bench stands still and is no longer providing reliable testing, this inevitably means a reduced output. In other words, cars can't be finished. Every minute of downtime costs money. That's why the overall system reliability is extremely important. Naturally, we work with the appropriate Siemens tools. In terms of control-related requirements, it was on a whole new level. We had to effectively simulate the combustion engine, and suddenly the test object was integrated in the control chain. Just in terms of the closed control loop, it was already quite a challenge, and in terms of currents, speeds, and torques that were required, it was definitely an upper performance class. So we're actually pleased to have a stable end-to-end -end solution. For our customers, we work with the existing infrastructure with a 400 volt input voltage. With the Siemens solution, with the DCPs, it's then raised to a DC link voltage of 850 volts. This means we don't have to make any additional investments in infrastructure. For example, we don't need any larger transformers for 850 volts. That would inevitably also mean thicker cable. And we only need energy for accelerating. We keep energy from breaking in the DC link so that it doesn't put an additional load on the power supply. Using Siemens products is often a customer requirement because the spare parts supply for customers is organized that way. But we also have to guarantee the availability of spare parts for the lifetime of our plants, as well as their functionality for years to come. With technical initiatives like these, we try to create the optimal conditions for us and for our customers. As things stand, I see it as a very promising technology that we are relying on. With the OEMs, we've been able to establish a very good position We've often had the chance to supply test benches and in this way have attained global market leadership. With Siemens technology, I think we're very well placed to hold on to this position. A cooperative partnership with Siemens definitely guarantees success because development is ongoing, including in terms of higher speeds, higher outputs, etc. And development in this area won't really be stagnating in the foreseeable future.